Hey there folks, this is Bobo the Vulture, and as the letters faded in to tell you, this is Let's Play The Adventures of Bayou Billy. It's up to you to rescue Annabella. Do you have the courage to fight Gordon? and his men? <sighs> you know, folks, if you're looking at the words too closely, that's what'll happen when you read, I guess. You should just let the words pass all right by. Don't even bother reading them. That's a matter of fact, yeah. That's the more you know for today. But, uh, yeah, this is just the demo. Um, this is a difficult game, though. So, I'm going to go ahead and go into practice mode first. And you can see here, there are three different, well, there are four different, in theory, types of games here. Well, three, really, because there's shoot 'em up game A and shoot 'em up game B. Street fighting game, it's not really like Street Fighter, it's more like Double Dragon. You sort of saw it there as the uh, demo started to play over. Action driving game, well, that's, I guess it's a little like, Special Criminal Investigation, SCI. Thank you. Um, but, you know, you're, uh, you're not driving in the 300ZX crazy thing. You're driving in by your Billy's Country Jeep. Yeah! And um, then you've also got down here, you've got the shoot 'em up games which are shoot 'em up game A and shoot 'em up game B. Sh they're basically uh game A is basically your standard zapper game. Game B is the exact same game except you use the crosshairs and your controller and you start off with twice as many bullets. I actually find that easier, so I'm going to try that mode. Yeah, see? Taking dudes out already. like so many other Zapper games, if um, you hit your target, you don't lose bullets. Well, when I say so many other Zapper games, I'm thinking of, of course, Gotcha, which you can find elsewhere on this Let's Play channel. And you'll also notice that guy started to fire a rocket at us, but I shot it out of the frickin' air, because I'm the man. Um, actually, the game sort of requires you to do that in order to avoid getting hurt. Come on, give me the bullets. Give me the... There we go. Alright, I have a net gain of bullets right now. That is good. Come on, there we go. But, uh, actually it's sort of like Top Gun that way. I don't know if you folks have ever played Top Gun. Oh yeah, shot that stick of dynamite out of the air too. Um, but, uh, yeah. Certain planes will fire a missile at you, and if you're in front of them, you'll have to shoot it out of the air. Alright, some of these people will just run off the stage, which is good. You don't have to worry about them so much. I'm almost done. I can just spray the whole place with bullets. Yes! You're pretty good with guns. Don't be afraid of Gordon slash Gordon. As a reward, you will receive extra bullets. See, folks? The practice games actually make a difference. At least in this game. Let's go ahead and try the action driving game. Um, that was the one I was having uh, the most difficulty with when I was doing a prior practice run here. I'm going to go ahead and use auto fire so that I've got bullets flying ahead of me at all times. Although, for all I know, these people in front of me are completely harmless civilians. I'm just blowing the crap out of them. Slow down there before I, uh, yep. <laughs> before I hit a jeep. Another jeep. Oh, that's a pretty cool dying Bayou Billy picture there, actually. But, uh, yeah, let's give that another shot. You will notice there are one-hit kills, which is, uh, unfortunate. 
I mean, you know, you can't necessarily expect that, oh, I just ran into another jeep at speed. My jeep should be totally fine. No problem. Okay, that, okay, I'm having bombs dropped on. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. Yeah, that uh, crop duster guy just dropped the bomb on me, baby. But that is something you definitely need to watch out for, having the bomb dropped on you. That guy just set me up the bomb. I don't like it. Alright. Whoa. Rock lying there in the middle of the road. Yeah, you gotta be careful of these uh, country back roads. <sighs> you know what I wish right now? I wish I had shapes to fire at the enemy. Instead of just these little, like, orange flames of death. Whatever the heck they are. Actually, one kind of cool thing about this, and this was a fun thing about a lot of old NES games. No! Oh! oh, wow, and I was almost there. Jeez. No, but what I was going to say is, uh, that was one of the cool things about the old NES games. Um... You had to... Well, I mean, not you had to. But, um... A lot of the times, the designers would, uh, just go ahead and borrow sound effects that they'd already made up from other games in the same company's library. So you'd have, like, you know, I believe I already commented that, like, the handgun sound in, uh, Codename Viper is the same as the rocket launcher sound in Bionic Commando. But like, when these bombs go off and when I blow up other jeeps, it freaking sounds just like it's Contra. Of course, in Contra, that happens like every two seconds. Because you're blowing up something every two seconds of that. I... Ah! Oh, my reflexes. Gah, my reflexes. Reflexes! Okay, I need to start moving. There we go. Let's get moving, Bayou Billy. We got to get to the bayou, hey! Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bayou. Alright, let's... Let's get moving. With milk. No. Ah! Alright, just, uh... A lot of the times, just for simplicity's sake, uh, it's good to blow up all the jeeps that come along your path, but uh, if you have any question as to whether you will, you might just want to get the heck out of their side of the road and hope they don't start swerving maniacally when they get right next to you. Which, of course, like in any driving game, the uh, cars that are basically clearly there as obstacles and not as fellow competitors are wont to do. Of course, this isn't a race. I guess it's a race against the clock, but this is a sort of like, ah, oh, you need to get to the next place in time or else Gordon will kill Annabelle or something. That or something is absolutely vital to the, uh... Alright, I'm almost there! Whew! That was dangerous, folks. Yes! I did it again. You're an ace behind the wheel. As a reward, you will receive an extra life. Now go and rescue Annabelle. Quit playing around with the practice games. Arr! Extra life. So that was a really important bonus to get. Alright. So, considering the street fighting game is the majority of the game, uh, hopefully we'll uh, get something equally good out of this. <laughs> Sorry, I just have to get into uh, the music of this game. This game has really great music. I am going to use auto fire. It's just going to happen. If you don't, the other guy will be quicker on the draw than you. You have punches, you have kicks. You have punches, you have kicks. The kicks are too slow. Kicks are too slow to use against guys. You will invariably be counter hit. Like, you might get in your first kick and then they'll punch you right back. Not 
may seem like cheating to do all of this, but, uh, but I'm gonna get the meat before I uh, start to ta trying to fight this guy, because this guy looks like uh, he would totally be after a meatloaf. And I will do anything for love. I feel like this guy would do anything for love. And by love, he might mean Paradise by the Dashboard Light. Whee! I'm sure there are other meatloaf songs in existence, but I sure don't know what they are. Aha! Take a taste of that knife! They're not very good at dodging the knives. However, he got it back, so... And, I'm pretty sure the weapons will continue to spawn. So, that's handy. I went ahead and stopped and made a quick save state there, folks. I'm, I'm gonna try and cheat as little as possible in this game. However, this game is more difficult than I would be able to beat not cheating. Nine times out of ten. go ahead and take both knives so that no other narrative wells get them. I mean, look at this. I only fought like three, four guys, and my life is already halfway dead down, even though I got a, uh, a meatloaf or whatever you want to call that thing. Okay, so let's trade weapons, buddy. Now I'm going to whoop you with an ugly stick. Yes, it is time for your whooping. That took him out pretty fast, didn't it, ladies and gentlemen? But yeah, I keep safe standing in between individual battle sequences because in one of my earlier, uh, you know, attempts to get this recorded, I had a couple of problems. I had, uh, one big camp studio crash. Shh, okay. I lost the, uh... Go ahead and get the meat. But yeah, you can dance around these guys, try and get the knives off of them, wherever you, wherever and whenever you can. Good, got the knife. And he got it right back. Ah, but he threw it away! Race for the knife! Race to the finish! But uh, yeah, I had one time I tried to do a test playthrough of this, Cam Studio crashed. Another time I tried to play through this, the game crashed. Which, you know... And it was an old-fashioned Nintendo crash, too. It wasn't like, you know, Cam Studio started lagging or something like that. Go ahead and collect up a bunch of these knives so that there are fewer of them on the stage. I think that might have been part of what prompted it. There were so many weapons on the stage that it was like, Huh? I don't understand! Too many objects! Oh, oh darn it. He collected it back. That is the problem with the knife. You can throw it at them, and it's a nice ranged weapon. All right. Your physical skills are great. You can outdo Gordon slash Gordon and his men with your punches and kicks. As a reward, you will receive a meatball? What? You have the same power as Gordon. Hurry and rescue Annabelle. She is waiting for you. So apparently, Gordon's powers include having extra bullets, an extra life, and possession of a meatball. These are the three things that allowed Gordon to, I guess, capture, kidnap, whatever, Annabelle. So we need to be careful, because clearly, this man has a meatball and is dangerous. I'm Bobo the Vulture. This is Let's Play The Adventures of Bayou Billy. And I thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye now.